in this video we will talk about the IV cannula or uh, also called as the intravenous cannula or the angiogath the IV cannula is simply a tube that is inserted into the body usually the uh, blood vessel for the removal or the delivery of fluids and uh, gathering the samples like uh, the blood samples the IV cannulas are used for a variety of purposes the functions of IV cannulas include the administration of fluids, sampling of blood, administration of medications, parenteral nutrition, chemotherapy and the infusion of blood and blood products. Now the parts of IV cannula. This part is called the lower lock plug and uh, anterior to it is the flashback chamber. When we insert the cannula into the vein, the blood usually comes into this chamber. Uh, this is how we come to know that the cannula is uh, properly placed in the vein. After that, there is the needle grip. After this, there is the injection port cap. This injection port can be used for the administration of drugs directly into the vein. And then there is the valve. Then uh, the catheter help plus the wings. These wings help uh, to grab the IV cannula when inserting into the vein then there is the bushing then uh, catheter and then the needle the catheter is the plastic tube and uh, has a needle inside it which uh, acts as a stylet for uh, insertion into the uh, vein basically there are three types of uh, three types of IV cannulas the peripheral IV cannula central line IV cannula and the midline catheter in this video we, we are going to talk about the peripheral IV cannula also the peripheral IV cannulas have uh, different types depending on the size the gauge the flow rate and uh, these have the different color coding system which we will see in the subsequent uh, slides the first is the orange colored uh, cannula this has a gauge size of 14 and uh, the outer diameter of the catheter in this is uh, 2 millimeters it has a length of 45 millimeters and the flow rate to 70 milliliters per minute then we have the gray colored cannula this has a gauge size of 16 outer diameter of 1.8 mm length 45 mm and the flow rate of uh, 236 milliliters per minute then is the white cannula with a gauge size of 17 outer diameter of 1.5 mm length of 45 mm and the flow rate of 200 uh, ml per minute after this we have the green colored cannula with a gauge size of 18 outer diameter of 1.3 mm length of 45 mm and flow rate of 103 uh, milliliters per minute the first four that is the orange gray white and green colored cannulas are called the white bore cannulas and these are used for the quick administration of medications blood and blood products because they have a, a large uh, diameter as compared to other types of cannulas next to it is the pink colored cannula with a gauge size of 20 the outer diameter 1.1 mm length 32 mm and the flow rate of 67 milliliters per minute the blue colored cannula with a gauge size of 22 outer diameter 0.9 mm length 25 mm and flow rate of 42 milliliters per minute then we have the yellow colored cannula which has a gauge size of 24 outer diameter of 0.7 mm length 19 mm and the flow rate of uh, 13 ml per minute lastly we have the violet colored cannula with a gauge size of 26 the outer diameter of 0.6 mm and the length 19 mm flow rate in this type of cannula is 10 to 12 uh, milliliters per minute the violet and the yellow colored cannulas are usually used in the pediatric population and the neonatal population because they are very small and uh, there is uh, the flow rate is very low and the diameter is also very small as compared to other types of cannulas the important thing that you need to remember here is that the gauge number is inversely proportional to the diameter and flow rate higher the gauge number smaller is the diameter and less is the flow rate and uh, smaller is the gauge number uh, more is the diameter and more is the flow rate the mnemonic for remembering the order of color coding is uh, our group works on good policy by volition where uh, uh, O stands for orange, G for gray, W for white, G for green, P for uh, pink, B for blue, Y for yellow and uh, V for violet. Thank you. That was all about today's topic.